Hello, welcome back to It's What I Do. Today we're going to start looking at the upflow filter. Um, I probably won't get it all finished in a day because I've got too much to build to do it. But we'll have a look at the parts first. So I'll shut up and we'll get on with it. Okay, here we've got some of the parts. I'm going to have to do this in a couple of... Uh, couple of sections because there's not enough room here for the parts so what have we got we've got two six inch to four inch rubber reducers two of those we have got two four inch to three inch pressure pipe reducers we've got two three inch to two inch pressure pipe reducers and then we've got a two inch to inch and a half and we've got two of those pressure reducers and they they fit inside one another like so to reduce us down to the size we need we've then got two gate valves should be able to get away with two because I have a non-return valve on my uh, pipe from the pump which should stop the water going back if it doesn't then I might have to get another one of these so we've got two of those we've got two of these flexible sweeping T-bends T-joints um, inch and a half um, I'm only probably going to use one of them. We've got oh, we've got three hose tails. In fact, um, I've only got two out here at the moment, and two adapters to fit those to the inch and a half pressure pipe. <clears throat> got two drain covers that I've wrapped in a filter bag, um, which I'll show you one in a minute, I've got a spare one there, which I picked up from my local supplier. We've got an inch and a half 90 degree bend. We've got an inch and a half T-piece. Again, I might not use that, because I might be using the flexible one. We have got the filter bag, as I mentioned, I don't know if you can see that because it's mesh, it doesn't stand out very well. But it's a filter bag and all I've done is cut that up um, to wrap the, filter, the drain covers in those. Got some self-tapping stainless steel screws. Um, these were from a different project. These were from when I built the pond covers but I'll be using those as well. So that's the first lot of, of kit. And I'll set the other one, lot up and show you those. All right, so the main body of the filter is gonna be this 160 millimeter diameter acrylic pipe, like so. Um, I might have to cut this one down because I've, I've got a feeling it's gonna to be too big, um, too tall, but we can put it together uh, and if need be I'll take it apart again and cut it down afterwards. So that's the pipe. We've then got these fittings down here. Oh. And what we've got is two half inch tank connectors. We've got two um, valves. I suppose they, they, you could call them a ball valve, they're not really, but um, they're like a ball valve. Two elbows. And we've got two pipe connectors. That's flexible pipe connectors. Those. And we've got two rubber washers. I've actually nicked these off of a different fitting 
Um, I have bought some, um, but these were the smallest size I could get, and they were a little bit big. Um, so I'm going to try the other ones first. Um, we then got the half inch air pipe. That's, that's semi rigid air pipe. And I don't know if you can see that. Oh. That's the K Plus Media. I've got a bag of that. So that's all the parts for it. Um, now it's just a case of putting it together and making something for it to stand on or in. Uh, I'm probably going to have to use a cupboard of some sort because I, uh, I've got no filter shed so it would be outside and in an acrylic pipe it would just go green. So I'm probably going to put it into a cupboard of some sort. So let's start putting it together. Okay, so the first thing I've got to do is mark where the the rubber reducer comes down onto the pipe. So I've just got a, there's actually a CD pen, one for writing on CDs. Um, and I've just got to mark that. And I'll do that both ends. Okay, I've put you on the head mount. Um, try and make it a little bit easier to see what I'm doing. Right, so the, the actual distance down worked out to be seven centimeters or um, closest to that is two and three quarters two and three quarter inches so I want it to be just just over an inch below is where I'm going to drill the holes to fit the air pipes so I'm going to go for three and seven eighths from the top of this tube down and I'm going to drill a little pilot hole there so we use a look use the uh, small drill bit there and we'll drill a little pilot hole pilot hole drilled there now now we'll go to the hole saw and very carefully cut out the hole so we've got the hole saw set up and that that piece is just fractionally bigger than the threads which is what you want so onto the top of the pilot hole and nice and slow with this you don't want to uh, you don't want to crack your pipe Okay, so that's the hole drilled. Now we've got to do is clean it up. Um, just use a knife for that. I'll just go around the edges of it. Okay, so I've cleaned the hole up and I've drilled both ends now. So we've got the hole there both ends. And what we'll do is we'll loosely fit one of the uh, tank connectors in there. Like so. Ooh. 
I'm going to see whether this is going to work like this as it is. If not, then I might have to heat it and, and just flatten it slightly. But I'm hoping, because it's got the nice thick rubber washer on there, that I can tighten it down enough that it'll, uh, it'll seat. So, yeah, that's one. And we'll put the other one in the other end. Okay, so we've got the air connectors on both ends. So now I'm going to fit some pipe into there. So what we need for that, oh, we want our elbows. We want one elbow actually, one elbow. And we want some pipe. So I need to cut myself a couple of little bits of pipe. Don't need to be too long. Just, just long enough to connect the elbows really. You can get proper cutters for cutting this stuff, but I haven't got any so I'll use a knife. So I think that should be enough. Excuse me. So that will fit into one of the elbows. Push it right in. And then we need another little piece to connect the elbow to the tank connector. Push that into there. Like that. And then this is going to be the bottom. So I want this facing up downwards and push that into there ow and trap your finger in it at the same time that hurt. <laughs> okay so once that's in I can put the grill back in the top so this is the grill I'd already prepared line up one of the holes with that Fiddly. Once we've got one in, the other hole should line up. Okay, not quite. Okay, so there you can see 
we've got the top screwed in well, actually the bottom because that's the bottom on there so I think I'll leave the other bit for a moment I'll get the other the other end of this done and then uh, I can put the, the uh, connector on the end of there so I'll just turn this over give me a second right with this end all I need to have is a little a short piece of pipe in there because all that is going to be is for allowing air to go in or out depending on what we're doing so I could just cut a short piece of pipe be about there we draw another hole Turn it round and do the other one before we make the other hole bigger. It's just oh no, I will do it that way. I'll carry on the same way as I was doing. Reason being, if I'm slightly out of line when I drill the other hole, it's not going to fit. It's going to put too much pressure on the acrylic. So, for the sake of a few minutes, we'll do it properly. Sit that one.
That's it. That's the uh, grill in. And now what we can do is put the uh, rubber reducers on. Just have to get them over those screws. Like so. Turn the other one up, up the other way. Oh. Slide the other one over the top there. And you're starting to get the idea of what it's going to look like. Yeah. Let's stand that there for a second. Um, oh, here's the reducers that I mentioned earlier they're just going to fit make sure you get it the right way that's going to go inside and they will push into there like so <coughs> and then On the top, which is that end, oh. on the top, I'm going to add that one there. like so and then into the top of there like so and that's how that will fit beauty of these is you can change the direction so if you want to if you don't want the airline the same size as that you can just turn it around which is something you can't do on the uh, the Tempest one that EA made um, it's fixed you can't adjust it, which is a nuisance. Yeah, that's what the uh, top will look like. And the bottom, I'll take this back out. Let's, let's pretend that's the bottom. Ooh. What we're going to have is this rubber connector. which will go straight onto a piece of inch and a half pressure pipe that will fit like so we'll have a have a um, hose tail in there might need to put the adapter on that, yeah. Hose tail on there. Gate valve on there like so. So we'll have the water in feed there. As I say, I've got a non-return valve that will be on here. So water will come into there. Um, do the filter thing. And when we want to clean it, we'll um, open the top valve, shut the, the gate valve, because there'll be one on the other end as well, shut the gate valve, open the bottom gate valve to drain some water out so that we've got a little bit of gap, shut that again, then we turn the air on, open the valve at the top to allow air to come in and out boil it up once we've finished boiling it up we just open the gate valve and all the dirty water will come flying out 
that's the idea anyhow so next thing I need to do is make something to stand this on as I say by the time you've got this off the floor so you've got enough room to get a pipe on the bottom um, we're gonna be up here somewhere which is quite high so I don't know I might I might cut this down because I think this only needs to be really an 800 if that um, instead of a meter which that is I mean the reason why the the Tempest one has to be like that is because it, it uses it doesn't have a pump on it so there's the only way it can agitate for long enough is if, if the water's draining for longer so that it draws more air in and stirs it as it's draining further and further and further down so that's the reason why they need to be so tall but if you've got agitation in there if you're pumping air in yourself there's no reason really why it needs to be that long you, you could you might even be able to get away with half that size so half a meter because you're going to be boiling the, the uh, media yourself anyhow hmm. we'll give it a try we'll test it first and if I need to cut it down then I'll cut it down so next things to make a stand for it well thank you very much for watching if you like the video please give me a like and subscribe down below thanks bye for now